understand that I mean no disrespect to anybody in this video. And also there is nothing shifty about this video. Just something to learn from. So let's dive right into this. I've been watching a lot of basketball and I'm realizing a lot of players are getting away from team basketball. People are making basketball harder than what it really is. Everyone tries to play isolation basketball like some pro teams but don't understand that help defense in the NBA and the help defense of high school and college don't work the same. Here in this video we have a player who I believe is a D1 basketball player. Strong, athletic, and skilled. On his team, he has a few other athletic guys who can make plays. On the other team, there's a high IQ point guard that I really like, along with a few other players who are very disciplined. If we roll the balls out and play pickup, I guess the white team will win, but this isn't pickup basketball. At some point in the game, both teams played the zone. What one team did was completely different from the other team. This team tried to dribble through the zone and were unsuccessful throughout the majority of the game. The Burgundy team was normally in the right spots, trapped at the right times, and were fairly active. This possession was good defense that led to a bucket. Like I said, they did have players who could make plays, but they just worked harder for their points. On the flip side, this is how you beat a zone. Rule number one, the ball should not stick. It should be moving constantly. Every zone has a few gaps in them, so rule number two is finding the gaps. Rule number three. Now I'm not gonna tell you to throw a no look pass, but faking a pass to make a pass is important. Let's get every basketball player out there to start utilizing pump fakes and pass fakes effectively. Rule number four, use screens, whether it be a ball screen or a flare screen or whatever. Screens cause confusion, especially in the zone, especially if the defense isn't communicating verbally. Rule number five, penetrate the gaps. There wasn't a bucket in this play, but it was a good shot nonetheless. Even if you don't have the best shooters on the team, I'm sure any coach will take an open shot over a contested shot 24-7. There are lots of other ways to beat a zone, but these are very basic and will cause teams to go back man to man. This is an example of good coaching. Although not always perfect, his players are executing, which leads them to a blowout victory. This is something that I never really understood completely when I played in high school. I just wanted to throw dimes and cross people over, not realizing that those plays only happen three to four times a game, if that. Stay tuned for more In The Lab videos. Check out BLE.TV and please continue to share our documentaries. I'll be posting videos you can learn from on my Instagram, so follow me. Oh, and by the way, George and I are with Ballers Life West, so be sure to subscribe to that channel. Oh, <laughs>